No. It's okay. I got you. No. Okay, we'll go this way. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go, Felicia. We'll go. <gasps> no! No. <laughs> Magical moments in time. Today is Utober day nine. That just rhymed. I just realized that. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Huh. This is my brother Logan, everybody. You Hello. have probably heard me say and talk about him in almost every single video. He is a real person. He's not make believe. He's not an imaginary friend. He's real. <laughs> And today we're going to be playing a couple of horror, uh, spooky horror film games. And the first game we're playing is Slenderman Rising. And then the second game is Nancy Drew, Ghost of Thornton Hall. Now, Logan played it recently, but I haven't played it in like a few years. I remember when we played it when we were younger and we were creeped out. So it's more of a puzzle game, as Nancy Drew games usually are. Less scary than the Slenderman one, which has like the pop-out scenes, but it's, it's more fun with the puzzles and the spooky and eeriness, so we're going to give them both a try. Play for you. Should we do day or nighttime? Maybe day first. Okay. I forgot how you do this. Right. Gotta find the signs. All I know is I need to find the signs. Oh, yeah. yeah. It sounds like a pretty stupid thing to remember. <laughs> Seems to be right here one time. I look on all the walls. Like look on every wall. Trying to. You missed a wall over there. You missed a wall. Usually they're on main like things you see a lot, like the well. Anything on here? No. No. Okay. Let's go this way. I don't like how it gets louder when you get to it. It's in the other shack. Move. I don't know. I don't think we. Yeah. Not good. It's like a labyrinth in here. Yeah. Oh, there's a red arrow. It must be on the other side of that wall. Go through that. Oh. <laughs> good job, Lily. Go that way. It's over there somewhere. Um, go through there. Yeah. No! He's guarding it! Alright, well, we'll go for a different sign. We don't have to go to this one. Oh. It must be on a tree. It must be on a tree. It's asking us to go this way. What is that? I don't know, but we're stuck. No, we're not. We oh. It's right there! <laughs> He, he rips, he your, rips eye. your eyes, and that's all I saw. All I saw was rips. Okay. How many do we have? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. We're probably only gonna get to three. He'll probably kill us. Thanks. Good faith. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> We're good. All you saw was his arm. <laughs> um, but that's all we needed to see. <laughs> I know there's no other. Is the dead end? Yes, this is the dead right. end. What are you doing? You turn. <laughs> what? You quit? Wow. I got three You're signs. You're all scary cat. I got three signs. I'll see you get away from there. So is the thing is that he guards them? I don't really know. Or does he just kind of show up wherever? Like, hey. I don't think he guides them. I think he's just there. Oh, wait, it's on the shelf. Maybe it's in the shelf. Go! Oh! He will end up finding me. He's found us many times. Nope. It's okay, I got you. No, okay, we'll go this way. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go, Felicia, we'll go. <laughs> Jesus, so demanding, Slenderman. Oh. Oh, hello. Your fear has chilled, called Your him. fear has called him. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> no! 
not right. I just got tough to get the full experience. Is that why? New game. Amateur sleuth. Sorry, but you know, it's been a while. Becky? Are we a woman? Yes. Like uh, or Nancy. Uh, what time is it? Light. Savannah? Is that you? Uh, what's wrong? I got a case for you. You sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earned their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony bin reject Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Has ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. So we pretty much are looking for this runaway bride, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Looks Well, looks they nice. think we she's been kidnapped, remember? Yeah. Excuse me? Sorry. Of course you're not. I'm just tired. I'm Colton, the fiance. Well, the Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. You might need this. Looks like they're in Louisiana. Is this Jesslyn's? Yeah, it's dead though. Give someone, some random person the something. phone and charge Maybe it. Here. you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. He's kind See of... See you later. Bye. Kind of a jerk. Not gonna lie. You can also, um, oh there. Never mind. Hmm, pretty cozy. Must be Nancy. Yes, you must be Clara, Jesslyn's mother. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jesslyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Come here with? Who did Jesslyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. Addison. She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. Is there any chance Jesslyn's disappearance could be cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare. Never. Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jesslyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. The police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here. Knowing the place and all. So for some reason that scratched out. None survived. Looks like the haunted mansion. Yeah, a little bit. Jeb Thornton and Sarah. Sarah Luna Wakeman. Hmm. They just kind of left their house like this. Like, why? Where's the lemon over there, the tea? Hey! What? You're not Savannah. No, no but I can be. I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's his name? Get canned or something? Logan? I Logan? You're in this game? Is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. 
What can you tell me about Why is it Lee Ford? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Oof, why not? The tea. No, no. <laughs> when Clara was about 10, Rosalie got real sick. Every day, Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself and would want to hear a ghost. What? Check it out. Sounds like me when I wake up in the morning. Hmm? Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. Alright, y'all just missed that, but that statue up there, her face just turned. She looked and watched us. I don't like Vegas. I'm going this way. Oh. That's Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. God. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. That's depressing. This hand just moved. He's waving at us. He waved at us. It's locked. Oh, Look, there's lights on. Someone's in there. <laughs> That's not fun. Nancy, here's some of my old paperwork from when I was looking to Charlotte myself. I know you're going to be looking for Jessalyn during the day, but night is the best time to investigate the family. That's when the spirits get restless, in more ways than one. You'll probably get more out of the family than anyway. The EMF gadget I included works pretty well on the property. I don't normally use, use these, but there is a strong correlation between the meter peaking and documented sightings. I know you don't like things that can't be explained, but just because it can't be explained yet doesn't mean you should disregard it. Call me if you want to talk. I don't know what help I can offer, but I'm there if you need me. Everyone's telling me to call her. <gasps> Ooh, oh. Miss Keisha? She's coming closer. She's coming closer. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that was sharp, but... She did that, honey. Coins. I have to run this machine to me. Ooh, it's strong. Talk to Mama Noodle. <laughs> when we did try um, playing Slenderman Rising, we got how many pages did we get? Five. Five? We got five. I think he got three and I got two. And um, after I got the fifth page, he automatically got me. So I don't know if it because it's because it ends right there and you, there's an in-app purchase where you get to buy the rest of the game. But we ended up stopping there and started playing the Nancy Drew game, which is fun. But then also when you get to that point when your brain is working so hard to like find puzzles and work things out, you're like, okay, I gotta take a break, I gotta take a break. <laughs> But that was just a little a fun little time with us playing the games, the spooky games. It was a fun little time together playing the spooky horror games. I think Nancy Drew isn't so much as a horror game. I think it's more of like a fun puzzle, ghosty, eerie thing as Nancy Drew usually is. Yeah, yeah what do you think? I think it was good. You think it was good? Mm -hmm. Which game do you like better? I like both of them. You like both of them? But like which one would you recommend for people? I mean, if you're looking for a puzzle game, you want a long game that you can really work hard on, Nancy Drew. If you're looking for just a quick, scary game, I'd recommend Slenderman. 
Yeah, it's a stressful game. He stresses me out. Both of them are stressful games because there are a lot of times with Nancy Drew where you put the wrong number into that code, uh, a spike comes from the top and it kills you. So. <laughs> oh well, move on. <laughs> move on to the next puzzle. Got s I know. I, th I remember there was a scene where like you you're trying to click on things above, like in this shed, uh -huh. and all of a sudden an axe comes and it says you died, and you're just like, yeah. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't be clicking on tons of axes in real life, but <laughs> I guess that was just, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed Utopia Day 9, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next Utopia video. Adios. Bye, guys. Bye.